Welcome to Wheela. Questionable driving experiences are all too familiar to us. But are you ready for a whole new adventure filled with excitement and intrigue? Let's get it on! Stay safe and wait your turn. Seriously, who knows how the train derailed and because of what? Nobody got hurt. Kudos to the driver for staying alert and avoiding disaster. It must not be simple to dodge. Stay safe out there, everyone. Wow, that truck driver deserves some serious recognition. No destination is worth risking your life for. He is safe. He's okay. Oh dear, don't let your phone or anything else distract you while driving. This occurred in Garland, Texas. Look at that guy. No text, what call, happened? or notification while driving, I don't folks. Know, I got it on video. Look at that guy. What happened? Whoops, a little patience goes a long way on the road, bro. Oh dear. Glad no one was in the vehicle. Luckily, he didn't get into this chaos. Who's at fault? You decide. Things happen on Boone's Creek Road in Tennessee. No way! Sounds expensive! Anyway, the driver veered back and continued the race. Hey there, if you are enjoying my content, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. This is intense. They're using every tactic to stop the suspect.
it's shocking to see how quickly incidents can happen when drivers take their eyes off the road. Stay calm and remember that they're all just trying to get where they need to go safely. Perhaps this is what distracted driving looks like and the subsequent over the reaction when they noticed that they were about to rear end another vehicle. from the police is never a smart decision. Let's stop and cooperate. Good job going off of that situation and going around them. Slow down because it's a rural area and maintain speed because we couldn't possibly stop like that in fog. Hope they are able to track down the driver and bring him to justice. Tire blowouts can happen suddenly and without warning. Regular tire maintenance and being prepared for emergencies, guys. The police were called and after he showed them the video, they determined the other driver was at fault. An insurance claim was filed and paid for $2,800. Pay attention and maintain a safe distance, especially in enclosed spaces, folks. I wouldn't be close to that car at all, and give them lots of space in case something falls out. No, man, I wish more drivers would take their time to understand how roundabouts work. Luckily, the camera was going under the speed limit of 55 miles an hour. Wow, be careful on wet roads. Hey, mate, put down the phone and focus on driving. Don't do that, bro. There were no collisions. It happened in Mira Mesa, California. Don't run a red light, man. Loose cargo is a danger to everyone on the road. Secure your load properly, bro. Hey, 
It is Sui Sun City, California. They shared insurance information and moved on. This happened in Prince George County, Maryland. Leave plenty of room between you and the car ahead, please. I don't understand how he didn't see the red truck. Pay attention on the road, guys. Location in Red Deer, Canada. The other driver refused to provide insurance information or even a name. Karma strikes again, and this time, it's instant. No, he had room to just pull in. Why even go for the parallel? This occurred in Chester, New York. What are you thinking, man? Don't sweat it if you miss your exit. Just look for the next opportunity to turn around. Hey man, stay in your lane! Is this worth saving two minutes? It happened in San Diego, California. Don't try to create your own unmarked lane to sneak by the truck. It happened in Paris, California. The Jeep had stolen plates and was not caught. Land Rover should wait till it's 100% clear. Follow the rules of the road, man. Who is to blame here? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. A car's brakes failed as it was traveling south on Oracle Road in Arizona, causing it to rear-end another vehicle. It looks like... It occurred on southbound 280 approaching 380 on ramp near San Bruno, California. That's probably insurance fraud. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Heavy front end, light rear end, and rear wheel drive with a lot of power. Where'd that stuff come from? At least it didn't cause a mess. They were in Beaumont, Texas. At least insurance paid $1,600 to the semi. Great work. I'd make them reverse all the way back too. Phone or sleeping? Whenever I see swerving like that, I always get away from them. It occurred in Grays Lake, Illinois. No one was injured. happened in Sun Valley, Idaho.
Luckily, there were no propane explosions involved. What's going on? Tailgating is a recipe for disaster, folks. Oh, should get this video to the cops. Camry was speeding. There's no way that it was going the speed limit. He's okay. It happened in Kansas, Missouri. Don't run stop signs, not cool. I see the problem, they are driving on the wrong side of the road. Be careful, bro. Whoops, an inexperienced driver who was going too fast couldn't stop at the red light on fresh snow. Slow down, guy. It's heartbreaking to see those snowy roads piled up. Be prepared to react quickly to changing road conditions. Always be aware of your surroundings and watch out for low-hanging power lines, dude. It appears like a brake issue. Anyway, he tried his best. Stay safe out there, you guys. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Good thing he didn't hit anyone. Hope they are both safe. Oh, a moment of distraction can lead to a lifetime of regret. Keep your eyes on the road. No one was injured. Kudos to the truck driver. Oh, that is too close. Glad there was no injury. reminds the public to slow down for flashing lights when driving on Idaho roads. Pay attention to the road flares, lights, and arrows. Stay safe out there, mate. He's okay. Glad there were no collisions. No excuse for running red lights. It's a basic rule that keeps everyone safe. Loose cargo is a major hazard on the road. Invest in high quality cargo straps, folks. If you can't see them, they can't see you. Always check your blind spots before changing lanes.
You can see a Lexus IS300 not paying attention and causing the collision. Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt. This occurred in Fairfield, California. Nobody was injured. Well done. A nice pit maneuver. What? How can it happen? Great that he was paying attention. It could have been worse. This was filmed in Sydney, Australia. Emergency video. Maintain a safe distance. I bet everyone still remembers this. Oh no, someone forgot to lower the truck bed. Pay attention and anticipate traffic jams ahead, folks. The driver had to make a 10 minute detour because of this guy in Dallas, Texas. Thankfully, there were no collisions. Bro, don't do this! It was actually hard to pull over because you couldn't see anyone's taillights until you were right on top of them. But let's take shelter. The Mercedes abruptly braked and the following vehicle did not maintain a safe distance. Pay attention, you guys. Man never wins against Mother Nature. Glad the driver was all right. This was filmed in Altoon, Iowa. The Altoon police did not issue a citation for this case. No, what are you doing, man? Mindful of oversteering, everyone. The driver is safe. That is so scary. Glad nobody was injured. Oh, fortunately, the speed was not fast. Otherwise, he would have hit it. No way. Turn your head to check your blind spot, trucker. Fortunately, there were no vehicles following. No one was injured. Uh, what the f do? The other driver claimed this guy never stopped. Thanks to the dash cam, he was found 100% at fault. 
Oh no, guys. Inspect cargo before departure. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. Whoops! A brand new Audi RS6. Anyone paying attention would have avoided that. Yield the right of way to vehicles on the main road, dude. Northbound on I-5 in Glendale, California, approaching the Western Ave off-ramp. You can hear his tires screeching as he passes. Learn from the mistake and more carefully in the future, man. Pay attention to exit signs and landmarks to avoid missing your exit again. It's natural to feel frustrated or anxious when facing driving challenges, but it's essential to stay calm and focus behind the wheel. No, red means stop, guy. If you're disposing of a tree, just put it on your curb. Or trees probably wouldn't have fallen off if they just drove to a local road. What are you doing, man? Oh dear, what was wrong with him? Hope the driver's safe. Does anyone recognize where this is? Seems not much experience driving around there. This happened in Garland, Texas. Come to a complete stop at intersections and wait for your turn, bro. Keep your attention on the road and your surroundings at all times, everyone. Be patient and courteous with other drivers on the road. If conditions become too hazardous Please, or feel unsafe, pulling over to a safe location and waiting for the weather to improve. Please. People exercise caution when driving on wet roads. Good thing it's just a minor scratch. I'm glad they were able to finally stop such a threat for everyone. Well, it seems like someone needs to retrain their driving skills for cornering. If you need to pass a truck, do so safely. Pass the truck on the left side whenever possible, as the blind spot is larger on the right side. Slow down, bro. No one likes an unintended slippery slide, especially on the roads. Who's at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments section below. I think everyone should have a rear dash camera like this. I find Black Vu or Rexing to be pretty good too. What is he doing? Look in the mirror, man. Whoa, 
This Nissan Leaf got rear-ended at 45 miles an hour. Video protected. I was grateful that this dash cam footage showed the truth. Whoops, how do people just drive past without checking on the driver? When turning left from the second lane, you must at least look in the right mirror. When standing in the right lane, it is best to stand level with the rear axle of the trailer. Luckily, he was driving very slowly, and at the same time, he was thinking about how to save a person's life. Respect for that. It's a pity his brakes failed, but there was no one there, or I don't know. Good job, mate. Great response. Oops, parked backwards. It was in a similar situation. I wouldn't be surprised if it was fatigue. Glad they are all okay. Kudos to the one who pulled over. It looks like one scene from The Fast and the Furious where Dominic had the wheels fall off of the Dodge. Wow, glad no one is coming the other way. Busy road. At least the car stayed upright. He's obviously familiar with that bridge. Um, you did something. No, no, what is he doing? He needs accountability instead of leaving the scene, right? Looks like someone missed the Operating Heavy Machinery 101 class. Why put an exit in the middle of a five-lane road? This is just going to keep happening. Not the scenario here, but a bit of advice to drivers. When merging in front of a semi, make sure you can see the entire front of the truck in your rear view mirror. Can say safely, given, given the no the facts of the case is that DB Copas was... Wow, not only did the pilot avoid colliding with the power lines, also avoided colliding with any houses. Oh my god, bro! A fuel truck was driving in front of him. How many lives he saved. Respect. Well, the driver of the SUV just crapped from surprise. Maybe the Jeep gets stuck under the brake pedal. It's a pity. What's wrong with him? much speed or a failed brake. Well, 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 let's see how close they can get. The driver of the delivery vehicle did not stop before the red flashing traffic light prohibited entry to the intersection. He ignored the signs and drove into the closing barrier. Do not imitate this. Seven. 
proves that the driver assist features help to also reduce potential bad events. Locking in good reactions by other vehicles. Wow, that truck driver deserves a medal. They were very lucky. It looks like the truck had no load and was able to stop so quickly. Oops, car was in the blind spot of the truck. Really sick of seeing this type of collision. Drive safely, everyone. Yes, and now he has a $380 ticket. Do not imitate this. <laughs> suspect ran out of the store with more than $1,300 of stolen merchandise. He led the police chase for more than a mile and a half with four flat tires. I just hit both squads. And the train wins again. Don't try to beat the train. Ninety-nine percent of all accidents at crossings are caused by drivers who disregard signals, road traffic, and safety rules. In a crisis situation, you can use the emergency number. Lesson of the day. Secure your load, folks. Unsecured cargo wreaks havoc, especially on truckers' cabins. Safety first. That was almost as impressive as a video game stunt. Kudos for regaining control. Oh, Cumbie, Texas, where even trucks seem to have a tough time. I hope everyone's okay, and maybe it's time for that truck to take a break and get some TLC. Slippery slope, but they're giving their best shot. Stay safe out there. Oops, you know your truck's height or be prepared for a headache, literally. The best truck driver did not spare his tractor and stop the suspect. When you think you can outsmart the traffic lights, but karma decides to teach you a lesson. Next time, maybe wait for the green folks. What does it mean to suddenly veer to the left? It's not a good idea if you still want to go to work. Truck driver's impromptu passing adventure in the oncoming lane. Do not imitate this. And this is the same situation. No, he was driving at 60 kilometers an hour. 50 kilometer an hour zone. <coughs> and that particular exit is really hard to see on coming cars. UTE driver needs to ride the bus as their only mode of transportation if they do not see flashing lights of an emergency responder. Oh no, incredible driving skills by the driver. Are red cars hard to see? Red car will have a big bill, at least a thousand dollars. Hmm, maybe stolen or doing a runner from something. At least everyone is safe. Oops, glad he's okay. Looks like Swift tried a lane change, typical result. Missed your turn, go down the block and come around again. Seems too hard for some. Well, if it was a Hilux, they don't pass a swerve test, even the cheapest dual cab passes. Always shoulder check for this reason, folks. Hope the driver's all right. 
Can't believe the skills we have on the roads these days. Obviously the driver expected the other car to stop. Give trucks the space they need, or you might end up in the tight spot. Stay alert, people. Electric buses are one of the most effective ways to reduce urban pollution and CO2 emissions. What do you think about using electric vehicles? Oh dear, someone is in a hurry to get a Marcus for a dollar large fry. Slow down, mate. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.